Hi, I'm Donna Kellner. Cordage is a fiber that's twisted in a continuous spin and ply technique. There was a time in the world when everyone needed twine or cordage, some kind of string to hold things together. Our ancient ancestors used cordage in making shelter, clothing, devices for gathering, capturing, storing, and preparing food, and they made it from what they found growing around them. In this video, I'll show you how to make cordage from what may be growing in your own yard. I'm using Siberian iris leaves. You may want to substitute daylily leaves or, or something else. In any case, you'll want leaves that are cut and dried so that when you prepare them for twisting into cordage, you won't get a lot of shrinkage. Here's how I prepare my dried Siberian iris leaves. As you can tell from the way they rustle, these leaves were cut, spread out in a thin layer and left to dry, and then I've just had them stored until I'm ready to use them to make cordage. Instead of soaking my leaves, which tends to make them too wet, what I do is called mellowing. I wrap my dried leaves in a damp towel, rolling it up like you would a jelly roll, making sure that everything is rolled up nice and tight and in good contact, so that overnight the moisture from the towel will migrate into the leaves and make them just flexible enough to twist. This bundle was left wrapped up overnight and now these leaves are what's called mellow. To begin my cordage, I'll select a few leaves and alternate the tips and butts so that not all of my thick and thin ends start and stop at the same places. I want things to be staggered. Now I'm going to go to roughly the middle of that bundle of leaves and I'm ready to start twisting. I'm going to start twisting in the middle, twisting away with one hand and toward me with the other. And when the fiber kinks, I'm going to transfer everything into one hand using my left hand to, to hold by the kink and my right hand is going to manage the bundles of fiber. What was in my left hand and my right hand are going to be two separate bundles and we're going to call those the upper bundle and the lower bundle. Twist the upper bundle away from you and then bring it down in front of the lower bundle. And with your thumb, hold that in place. We're just going to keep repeating that. Your dominant hand twists the upper bundle away from you and then moves it down in front while the non-dominant hand pinches to hold the plies together. Mm -hmm. 
I wish you could smell the fragrance of the mellowed Siberian iris leaves, which are really lovely. When a leaf starts to run out, just lay in some new material and keep going. You can trim off any tag ends later. That's how simple it is to twist cordage. Let's go ahead and make something out of this cordage. I love showing kids how they can make twine out of something that grows in their own backyard. And cordage friendship bracelets are a lot of fun to make and they can teach their own friends how to do them. Twist enough cordage to go comfortably around the wrist plus another inch or two depending upon the diameter of your cordage so that you have enough uh, cord to turn into a knot at one end. Trim off any tag ends and the excess um, leaf material at the knot and thread the knot through the loop where you kinked the, the bundle as you began to make the cordage. That's a quick simple project to do with material that grow in your own backyard. A cordage friendship bracelet. But as long as you're doing this, and especially if you're doing it with kids, here's one more thing you may want to try. Twist a foot or two of cordage that's thinner than what you did for the bracelet. For the bracelet, I used four leaves. For this piece of cordage, I'm just using two. Just a nice thin piece of twine. Pick up two untwisted leaves and see how hard you have to pull to break them. Now pull on your thinner cordage and see how much harder you have to pull to break it than leaves that were not twisted. If you're doing this with kids, be sure to ask them, what other materials do you think we could find that we could use to make cordage. Then go have fun doing it. Thanks for joining me for Making Cordage with Siberian Iris Leaves. I'm Donna Kalmer. See you again soon.